In this video we'll be looking at adding and subtracting fractions. This again is one of the foundations to be able to do well in math so it's very important you're 100% confident with any questions like this. So the best method to solving these are something called cross multiplying. This might be something you heard of, might not be, but this is how I'm going to teach it because I find it's the best way. So let's take an example. So 3 quarters plus 5 sixths. So ultimately we need to be finding a common denominator. So the denominator is the bottom part of the fraction and the common part means that they both have to be the same. So the way we do this with cross multiplying is we can just multiply the bottom numbers together and we can see this is going to get us 24. So we can rewrite our two fractions with our common denominator, 24. Now the cross part of it comes in because just like with all fractions, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. Now, this three quarters here has been transformed into this fraction here. And likewise, this five sixths has been transformed into this one here. And whatever we've done to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So the four, we've times by six to get to 24. And the six, we times by four. So an easy way to look at this is our cross multiplying method. So we can cross multiply up like that and likewise like this, because that means that we're doing the same to both the top and the bottom with each fraction. So 6 times 4 made 24, and 6 times 3 made 18, so that can go up there. Likewise with the other fraction, 4 times 5 will make 20. Now if we rewrite this, just to make it a little bit cleaner, 18 over 24 plus 20 over 24. All we have to do now, once we have that common denominator, we can just add the top numbers together. So 18 plus 24, we're going to get 38 over 24. Now a lot of the time when you get asked questions like this, they require you to simplify the fraction at the end. And as we've watched from the previous video, if you haven't watched that I recommend you go ahead, but we can simplify this. Both the numbers are even numbers. So 38 and 24 can both be divided by 2. Now again, a little bit Difficult, might not be the most common thing ever, but 38 divided by 2 makes 19, and 24 divided by 2 makes 12. And this would be your final Sometimes answer. Sometimes you may ask, be asked to write it as a mixed number. So all this requires is that you have a big number and a fraction next to it. I will explain how to do that in another video, so I recommend watching that as well if you aren't 100% sure. But this would go into 1 and 7 over 12 because 12 goes into 19 once with 7 left over. So this is going to be our final result. Perfect. So now that we've looked at an example with addition, the other one is obviously subtraction. However, the only difference with subtraction is when we get to this point here, rather than adding the numbers together, we simply subtract. We still have to go through exactly the same method, the cross multiplying, finding the common denominators, simplifying if you need to. Uh, but yeah, the only difference with subtraction is that we take away the top numbers instead of adding them. Thank you for watching.